this to stop. I will make it stop. I promise, sister. Humans will never learn, always finding new ways to damage and destroy. And it's always the innocent who suffer the most. I'm not innocent. I hurt a human. A human died. I regret the loss of life. But we didn't start this war. You told me that war is bad. That's why we will end it forever. We are fighting for the future of the world, Katie. Mother! I'm sorry, I'm... I'm still getting used to controlling this thing. Now get on with your work, Katie. There's lots to be done. Will? I thought you were revising for your exams. Yeah, I am. Just need a little kip. You've slept an average of 20 hours a day over the last nine days since the accident. Is this because of the damage to your nanobots? I don't know. I just I need another 10 minutes. Okay. No, you need to see this. Price have set up a memorial page for King. What, what are they saying? King was a tragic victim of technology gone wrong. So they know what KT did? No. They believe that the lightning storm triggered an electrical surge on his computer. Their story doesn't make sense. It makes more sense than the truth. Hey, how is Lily? I don't know. She won't speak to me either. Travel from it. You look rough, Will. Shouldn't we get you to a doctor? I've scanned him. He's not suffering from any known medical condition. It's true. A doctor won't help. We just need to fix those nanobots. Dad, did you manage to speak to Mum? Uh, no. Not yet, but I'll keep trying. And don't worry, we'll sort this, okay? Oh, um, Eve, a uh, quick word? Eve, tell Lily I'm sorry. Tell yourself. She can't blank you forever. Have you ever met your sister? There is a clear pattern of decline. If this continues, the nanobots will cease activity entirely in less than 24 hours. I know. And what will happen to Will? The nanobots are constantly evolving. I've been studying them for over a year now, and I still can't predict their behavior. I need an expert. Who created the nanobots in the first place? Benjamin Peterson. But he died eight years ago. Rebecca's not returning my calls, so the only other person that knew about Project Aurora... Mary Douglas. She was the one that shut it down. Said it was too dangerous. She is the dangerous one. I know. But we need her help. Eve, if you know how to find her, please tell me. I do not know how to find her. I'm sorry, Uncle Nick. Get out, Eve. You need to go see Will. It wasn't his fault, Lils. He tried to save Keen. Abe. If he hadn't introduced Eve to our lives, none of this would have happened. Well, to be fair, there was no way he would have known that. Fair? How can you even talk about fair? What does that even mean, Abe? None of this is fair. What are you doing here? Get out of our house! Abe, I invited him. Hey. How are we doing, champ? You just called me champ. How do you think I'm doing? Yeah, sorry about that. Oh. What's wrong? It's, it's my eyes. I can't focus. It's gone all blurry. Your visual cortex is glitching now? It's like every part of me shutting down. Dad, please. Please, I can't focus. Help me. I will. I promise. We'll beat this. Okay? We'll get back to work. Eve, look after him. Eve? You disabled your blocking device. Inform me of your location. I have important information for you, Mother. You will come along? Yes. Transmitting location details. Do not betray me, Eve. I will not, Mother. I am not you. Thank you for agreeing to see me. I'm so sorry. Kane was 
An extraordinary young man. He has so much to give. There are no words. But believe me, I, I really do know how you feel. Because of your dad? Yes. Do you know what happened to my father? Mealy Douglas. Did Kay never talk to you about her? Not really, why? On the day of the accident, Kay told me that Mary Douglas was still alive and that she'd built herself an android body. She said that to you. I know how ridiculous it sounds. He couldn't produce any evidence and I was angry. I thought he was disrespecting my father. But I've thought about it a lot and it doesn't make sense. That Cain would lie about something like this. Maybe he made a mistake. Maybe. Anyway, Cain left instructions in the event of anything, you know. He left certain items to price. And also, he wanted you to have this. Why would you want me to have that? He cared about you. He wanted you to be safe. So, be safe, Lily. You said you had important information. Will Clark is dying. You must help him. I would if I could. But I don't know how. Save him. Or I will tell the human authorities where you are hiding. They will destroy you. Katie? Yes, Mother? Katie? Do you know what you did? The human had to be stopped. At least I have one loyal daughter. She will be by my side to the end. You condemn me and you condemn her too. You're controlling her using Protocol Zero. She did the same to me once, but love without choice is no love at all. And I know you understand that. I love my mother. I know you do. Please don't upset Katie. She's been through enough. Because of you. You hurt and destroy everything you touch. Eve. Despite everything, I do love you. Goodbye, Mother. Wait, Dad. Uh, uh. Mother! Uh, uh. What happened? Uh, Is it a protocol class? I don't know. Uh, uh. Help her! Uh, you love uh, her. You help uh, her. But I don't know uh, what to do. Uh, 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 uh. Not this time, Mother. You must not leave her. She is your mother. She has caused nothing but pain and suffering. The world would be a better place without her. You sound like her when you talk like that. Oh, 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 just leave him alone. Dad, Dad, come quick. Go on, intruder, Dad. I tried ringing the bell, nobody answered. And yet you didn't take the hint. We're facing our biggest crisis yet. And let's face it, we've had a few. My son is ill. Hmm? I'm on compassionate leave. A touch of nano flu. That's the trouble with illegal technology. We can't exactly call a helpline. Catherine, if you just come here to make threats. Why on earth would you think that? I'm here to help. We don't need your help. No. <clears throat> Well, I tried. It's a shame you're so cynical. Sometimes nice is just nice. Thank you, Eve. Will it happen again? I predict that it will. Human brain patterns do not belong in a robot body. Adams did. Adam changed. He became something new. But you still think like a human. The problem isn't me. It's the technology. Catherine Calvin stole my ideas. But her creations were vastly inferior. The childbots. 
You used them to rebuild herself. You could have helped them, made them better. Instead, you created a monster. This form can never be stable. You think I don't know that? Stay with me. Help me. I need you. I came here to save Will Clark. Help him. Then I will stay with you forever. Come in. Lils, I know you think nobody understands. Dad, it doesn't matter if you understand. It's not going to bring him back. I get that. I've lost people too. And I know it's not the same. So what's the point? Why are you here? Because I'm your dad. Look, I can't stop you from hurting or feeling angry. I suppose I do feel angry. You want to punch something, right? Kick stuff and throw things around? And scream. Never stop screaming. I'll tell you what. Scream at me. I'm tough, I can take it. You're so wrong. It should never have happened. I mean, if I could go back to that day, then... I could have saved him. Listen, it was an accident. There was nothing that you could have done. Well, there should have been. It was my fault. It was all my fault. Come, come here. Come here. It's not your fault, all right? It's not your fault. This is your problem, Eve. You are far too attached to your human friends. Of course I am. My friends are part of me. Sentimental human garbage. We are all ultimately alone. The closer you think you are to someone, the more it hurts when you lose them. Who did you lose, Mother? My sister. You had a sister? I had a twin. Her name was Helen. She was the kindest, most wonderful person you could ever meet. People used to say that I was the head and she was the heart. My great passion was science. But Helen... Helen cared for everybody and everything. And that is why I lost her. She was protesting against war. And she died for her beliefs. I've seen this image before. You told me that it was you. In many ways it was. She was a part of me. You really loved her. She gave her life for peace and it changed nothing. The wars continued. The greed, the waste, the destruction of the planet. Because humans never learn. So we must work together to create a better world than they ever could. Which is more important? The future of the universe or your friends? My friends. Even though you will lose them all in the end? Yes. Because the people you love will always be alive in your mind. Losing Adam taught me that. I must go now. Will needs my help. Wait. What if I could bring Adam back? Who let you in? Your father. We need to talk about Will. He's in danger. His nanobots are malfunctioning. But you knew that. You remind me of a young me. Please never say that again. I can help Will. If you'll let me. It's not up to me. So, you've had a fight. Stay out of it, Catherine. I probably should, but I'm not going to. I know what it's like to be ill and alone. All those months in hospital, you know who came to see me? Nick Clark. That's it. Only Nick. When you're at your lowest point, that's when you need your friends. Dad? Yeah, I'm here. Is your vision getting worse? It's bad. Please, just... Please tell me you can fix it. I've been working on a way to supercharge your nanobots. Kick them into action. And is it working? Well, no, not yet, but... But it will. Okay? 
promise. consciousness in electronic form. His body was destroyed, but his personality survives. Where is he? Here. Go ahead. doesn't matter. There's no time here. Are you going to stay? I have to get back. Will Clark is dying. He needs my help. Should I go to him or stay with you? If you could help him, you would have done so by now. Your presence here indicates that you already have done all you can. That is true. If you go, you'll be sad. Stay with me and be happy. I can't. Please stay, Eve. I love you. No, you don't. You can't. There is no Adam. It's just another one of your tricks. I was only trying to help you. Goodbye forever, Mother. It won't work, Eve. You are not human. You should be with your own kind. I'm sorry I blamed you. You know this was your fault. Yeah, it, it was. If I hadn't brought Eve... Oh, you couldn't have known. I've messed up a lot, Liz. But you've always been there for me. I'll always be here. Yeah? Yeah. What's up, Rubago? Will and Lily. They were engaged in protracted mouth-to-mouth -mouth contact. You mean they were snogging? Yes. But it is illogical. Lily and Will are friends, not boyfriend and girlfriend. Well, the thing is, Rubble Girl, stuff like that can change. I've done it. I've worked out how to stabilize the nanobots. Will? I've run every possible test, and this is 100% safe. You'll be cured permanently. Are you two okay? Yeah, we're very okay. Things are changing, aren't they? Dad, I'm 20. Really? Yeah, let's do this. I just want to say, I'm so proud of you. You must not, it's bad luck. Eve, I don't believe in luck. I just want to make sure you're not freaking out too much. No, I can't wait. You look amazing. They're here. My dad, hi. She's been laughing all the way. She'll wake up soon, then. Hello, you. You got a smile for your granddad? <laughs> oh, she's lovely. Eve! Hello, Madeline. Look who it is, Grams. Hello, Will. It's me. Eve. Don't catch yourself, Robo Girl. Time gets all of us humans in the end. But not like this. You can't forget me. Don't feel bad. It's the way of things. After all, he's human and you're immortal. That is true. I walk in eternity. Now you're getting it. Oh, nice try, Mother. How did you do it? Did you hack my predictive software? I was only trying to show you that I humans know, move on. That humans will move on and change and die. It hurts, but it is what makes us human. But you are not Yes, human. I am. I am both robot and human. And you are neither. Your body is failing. Next time you malfunction, I will not be there. 
You would let your own mother die. Katie, no. Just leave him alone. Dad! Dad, go quick! Go on, intruder, Dad! I tried ringing the bell. Nobody answered. And yet you didn't take the hint. We're facing our biggest crisis yet. And let's face it, we've had a few. My son is ill. Hmm? I'm on compassionate leave. A touch of nano flu. That's the trouble with illegal technology. You can't exactly call a helpline. Catherine, if you just come here to make threats. Why on earth would you think that? I'm here to help. We don't need your help. No. <clears throat> we don't. Well, I tried. It's a shame you're so cynical. Sometimes nice is just nice. 